Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play the one player game, Sheffy. It is designed by and illustrated by Pawn. This game actually started as a print and play on his blog, and he decided to print it and sell it. This debuted in Essen last year, 2013, and at the Tokyo Game Market in November 2013. It is now available in stores. I think, it'll, I think it's about $16. 1600 yen? Around there. And I'm here to show you how to play. So, first off, the story of this game is that the humans are dead. They're gone. And that the angry sheep, these here, yeah, they're descending upon us, our sheep here these white sheep clear um, and they basically said they're going to descend and destroy us all so what we're trying to do is we are these white sheep and we are trying to fortify our position and we're trying to get 1,000 sheep before they get 1,000 sheep or at least when they get a thousand sheep we already have a thousand sheep to fight against them so to do that we have our events and we have our sheep cards they are in different values we have a one here Oops, okay, there you go. There's a one. Beautiful. Uh, all the cards have different art. So if you want to see different art, it's done by the designer repeatedly, so it's nice. Each and every single card here has a different art. So here's threes, obviously, three sheep. Tens, 30, 100, 300, and 1,000. Look at this one with the castle. It's awesome. Okay. Now, there are seven of each of these stacks here. There are seven cards in each stack. And the reason for that is you're trying to play cards to the field. You can only have to, seven cards in your field at any given time. And what you're going to do is first you take your event cards. These are already shuffled, so I'm going to give myself five cards. Five. That's five cards. Put those there. And I'm going to put, and you start with one sheep in the field. So as we have that, I'm going to move the Sheffy box over here. Maybe over here. Yeah. Oh, here. So we have this white sheep. There's one white sheep, and this is what you start with. So, in your event cards, these, these event cards have different names and abilities, and they basically either help you get more sheep or destroy your sheep. If at any point you have no more sheep in your field, you immediately lose. Or, if you don't have a thousand, by the time the angry sheep get to their one thousand, you lose. Every time you run through the event deck once, the angry sheep will turn. Now they have 10. Then they'll grab 100. Then they'll have 1,000. Once they get to 1,000, and if you don't have 1,000 to match them, you lose. It's theoretically possible to get 1,000 before they get to their 1,000. And the rulebook basically says just keep going. See how high of a score you can get. My current record in this is 3,900 sheep. So, And of course, I've lost with none zero sheep because the game can be surprisingly easy at times and sometimes just horrendously difficult. So today I'm gonna do a playthrough, a run through of this game for you. So you might not see the cards in my hand, I'm gonna be over here, so I'm gonna see it partially I guess. Okay, so I have in my hand Planning Sheep, which removes a card in my hand from the game. Flourish, which allows me to choose one of my sheep cards and receive three sheep cards of a rank lower. There's nothing lower than one, so I can't really target it. Uh, be fruitful. And it says duplicate one of my sheep cards. It's going to be a little not safe for work if you want to look at it. Yeah, that's exactly how they duplicate. And lightning. Release your highest ranking sheep card. And an all-purpose sheep, which copies one of my cards in my hand. And you play this instead. Okay, so what we're, first we're going to do is I'm going to be fruitful. I'm going to do be fruitful. I'm going to duplicate my one. So this gets discarded. One. So you play one card, you do the effect, and you, then you draw another one. Let's see here. And I'm going to do a lightning, which releases my highest ranking sheep card. And this one, you just choose one if you have two. Okay, there's one. Release that. And draw. <laughs> I'm going to multiply, which allows me to put a three in the field. There you go. Draw that. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to use Flourish. Well, flourish. 
and choose one of my sheep cards, and I get three of another rank lower. So I'm going to choose my three and get three ones. One, two, three. Okay. Draw. Ooh. Uh, this is a bad card. This is a Sheffion. It says release seven sheep cards. Remember, you can only have seven in your field, and if you have no cards in there, you lose. So this is an instant loss. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, use my all-purpose sheep to copy. Remember, it copies one card in your hand, one card in your hand, to copy my planning sheep, which allows me to remove a card in my hand from the game to remove the Sheffion from the game. Put that over here and discard the all-purpose sheep. So. Identity of your, uh, when you draw cards, and if you have less than five, draw up to five. And I have four, and that's five. Okay, so this is Storm, release two sheep cards. Like that, and just release these two. Draw. Okay, oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm going to duplicate one of my sheep cards, so it would be fruitful here. Another one of those, and get another three. Here. I feel like I have to now. Okay, I'm gonna use Meteor, which allows me to release three sheep, but I get to remove this card from the game. So I'm gonna do that one, two, three. Not three sheep, but three sheep cards. So, so I release a three and a one and a one. Okay, these are not good. I'm going to do Dominion, which allows me to choose any number of sheep add their values and get one card to replace it. Oh, you know, equal or lesser value. I can't do that, so I'm just going to choose nothing. That's fine. Uh, I got Inspiration, which allows me to look through the deck and get any card I like, put it in my hand, then reshuffle the deck. I'm going through, let me see, let me see if I can pick up, ooh, fill the earth, that would do. Actually, that was next, so that would be cool. Can reshuffle the deck. Okay. I'm going to fill the earth, which lets me place as many one sheep cards as you like in the field. I'm going to put seven of these. So I'm going to put all six of six of these and leave one here. Draw. I'm going to let's see here. Raise the rank. I'm going to do Golden Hoops, which allows me to raise the rank as many sheep as I like, except for my highest ranking card. If you have more than one higher ranking card, like to say I had two threes, just choose the threes. The threes can't be upgraded. The ones can. For example, if I had two threes, those don't get upgraded. The ones do. But since I only have one three, these ones get upgraded to threes. So again, oh wait, no, there's only six of these left because there's one already. Okay, here we go. So now I have 21 sheep in the field. That's cool. All right, let's see here. I'm going to do Dominion, which allows me to choose any number of sheep and add them and get one card. So no change, mind you. So I'm going to take three threes, which is 12, and get a 10 in return. No change. You don't get two ones extra, just one card. Okay, so that's that. Pick up a card. I'm going to let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to I think I will do the I'll do the plague. Yeah. Plague, which has released all sheep cards of one rank. I'll release all the threes. Crowding, release all but two sheep. I only have one sheep, so that's fine. I'm going to use my sheep dog to discard a card from my hand. I'm going to use that to discard these wolves. I'm going to use planning sh my planning sheep to remove this card from my hand. Release half of your sheep cards from that. Remove that from the game. Uh, I'm going to do free be fruitful to duplicate my ten. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do Falling Rocks to release one sheep card to put the 10 back. 
So, at the end of the first round of the game, where the angry sheep goes up, bumps up to 10, I have 10, and that's fine. If you have less than 10, that's okay. You only lose if they get 1,000 and you don't have 1,000. So you can keep going. So now, I get to shuffle the deck and keep going. I have 10 sheep. Hopefully I can win this. You generally try to get more sheep than there is. there are angry sheep coming. So if I have 10 sheep, 10, I'm, I'm doing pretty okay. So I'm going to shuffle these cards. Just so you see that I'm not actually... Let me shuffle these cards here. It's really hard to shuffle like just very few cards, but they're very nice cards. They're smooth. Anyway, four, five. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do. Multiply, which allows me to put a 3 in the field. I'm going to do Plague, which allows me to release all sheep cards of one rank. Put the 3 back. I'm going to do Flourish, which allows me to choose one of my sheep cards and receive 3 sheep cards of a rank lower. Give that 10. Take 3 threes. I'm going to do Storm, which makes me release two sheep cards. Storm. Yeah, the sheep gets blown away. Two back up. Draw one of these. Oof. Let's be. I'm going to use all purpose sheep to copy my be fruitful. Is that glary? Okay, good. And that, I'm going to duplicate this 10. I'm going to find some inspiration. I'm going to look through my deck here. Find me a golden hoops. Yeah, golden hoops might be nice. I see. Not golden hoops. Hmm. Yeah, golden hoops. I know. Golden hoops. That. Okay. Goes there. Going to be fruitful and copy one of my tents. I have 33 sheep. It's going to be great. I hope. I'm going to do Dominion, which allows me to add the sheep up and get another one. So these two 310s will turn into a 30. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to do some crowding. Release all but two sheep cards. Nothing. There's only two sheep cards there. I'm going to use the, the sheep dog to get rid of the wolf. Because Sheepdog allows me to discard a card from my hand. I'm going to draw two here. Let's see here. I'm going to fill the earth. Place as many one sheep cards as I like. Let's do five. Since so I'm allowed to have seven cards on the floor. That's... Okay. Uh, first things first, let's do a Falling Rocks to release one card. Release your sheep if you go back here. I'm going to use Be Fruitful to duplicate the sheep. That 30 would be nice. So I have two 30s, a 3, and four ones. That's seven cards. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to. This is going to be good. I'm going to use Planning Sheep to remove a card in my hand from the game to remove Lightning. Lightning destroys my highest ranking sheep, so I don't want that in there. I am going to be fruitful. Well, actually, no, not be fruitful. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Hmm, maybe. No, not enough. Okay, first I'm gonna do golden hooves. To raise the rank as many sheep as I like, as long as it's not the highest ones. These are the highest ones, so you go to ten. You four go to threes. Two, three, four. Lovely. Let's see. I'm going to have to do be fruitful. Get an extra thirty. There it is. So now I have ooh, I can't be fruitful. There's too many cards. That's not good. Okay, so I guess I'll do Dominion. And total these up, get a 10 out of this. Now I'll be fruitful. <laughs> and get another 30. Okay, they made it to 100 and I made it to 110. Still doing pretty good. Pretty well. well I'm doing pretty well. No, screw it, I'm doing good. I'm doing good for my sheep. For our clan. We are the sheep, by the way. I'm not a human trying to make these sheep things. I'm actually just sheep managing other sheep. I'm not sure how deep that sounded. Alright, so as we do this, I'm going to shuffle this, these cards some more. Hopefully I can get to a thousand this turn, otherwise I lose. Okay. One, four, five. Alright. A little better. Okay. I'm going to do Dominion. Should know what these do by now. I'm going to add this, these 330s and the 10. Turn into 100. Sweet. Ooh, that's so good. I'm going to Flourish. I'm going to choose one of my cards and get three cards of one rank lower. This 100, get 330s. And looks like Dominion's gonna happen again. These 330s and a 10. Give me another 100. Ooh, we're doing good. Doing well. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to be fruitful and duplicate one of my 100s. Ooh, is that good? I'm going to use all purpose sheep to copy my planning sheep. My planning sheep removes a card from my hand and from the game, so all purpose sheep removes a storm from my hand. Two cards. I'm going to use sheep dog to get rid of the plague. Two cards. I'm going to use multiply to put a three in the field. Why not? I'm going to. Oh, this is not good. Fill the earth. Get as many ones as I like. Oh, a single one would be good. I think there's only two Dominion in there, so it's going to be a little close. If not, I'm going to lose. I'm probably going to lose. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to use my wolves to reduce the rank of my highest ranking sheep down. So this 100 turns into a 30. But that's okay. I'm going to use Golden Hooves to raise the rank. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not golden news. I'm going to be fruitful and duplicate one of my hundreds. Still six. Still good. Oh, I'm just using inspiration to get this thing. Okay, that's useless. <laughs> I, I lost. I'm going to use planting sheet to get rid of this falling rock. I'm going to... Well, not the falling rock. That, the crowding. Now I'm going to use this falling rock to destroy this one. I'm going to use Golden Hooves to upgrade my 30 to 100, this 3 to a 10, 
and be fruitful to duplicate this 100. And I was close. I have 510 sheep when the angry sheep had raised a thousand. They have come and they have eliminated us all. Fantastic. So that's how you play Sheffy. Hopefully you take some of the tips you've seen watching me and not lose. So if you have any questions or comments or anything else really that I can answer, let me know. Write in the comments below. And please like, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see what other games you want me want to see from this side. Uh, and 510 sheep. That was close. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.